Any takeaways from this show for you at your first one back in a while in terms of what you're going to go back and work on? Um, yeah, I think it's quite, it's, you know, small tool to big tour is a completely different sport. So um, it was almost quite difficult in the small tour to, I almost have to ride a bit long to make her not arrive at all the half passes too early and everything. So it's a bit, I now need to get home and just um, shorten her up again and, 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 and work on the proper collection again and, and um, make sure she feels confident enough um, at home and on all of the Grand Prix work before I throw her in to, you know, into a test. But you think you're going to during this Definitely January. while I'm out, out here in Florida, I just can't guarantee whether it's in two weeks or in the next But you've just conquered all the small tour stuff now. You. But it's not about small tour, is it? <laughs> it's, not that, it's not about the small tour for me yeah. and that horse anyway. It's, it's, you know, it's just a means to an end. Would you um, be able to make the Europeans, do you think? I mean, that's not very far away. Um, who knows? I, it's, it's, it's not my... My main goal is Rio and everything between that is sort of are just um, steps along the way. You know, if she, she comes out of Grand Prix and feels, feels good, then if she's good enough to be on a team this year, I'll say yes. And if she's, you know, still needs fine tuning and work, well, then it's not a disaster because, like I say, the main aim is, is Rio. And I don't want to do anything. You know, everything has got to be with that in mind. Nothing on the way should compromise, you know. You don't want to get greedy too early and you, you want us to make sure that you get get the steps along the way correctly in, in the right amount of time and not push her too quickly. So yeah. It's very hard to gauge where you're gonna be in a test that you haven't even done yet. <laughs> what would you say some of the highlights are for her in her Grand Prix work to this to this point? In her Grand Prix work, um, I think she's going to have really good Piaf Passage work, but I think, like my old horse Alf, um, I think it'll take a few a few shows before she's confident enough to, to produce it in the test. She might have the odds, I don't know, she might she might get it straight away, she might struggle a bit the first few times because horses with that amount of power that have to be shortened that much, um, you know, it, it, it can you can you, know, you have to really get get their confidence. Um, it's it's a lot for the horses, and um, horses without much movement often scare, almost scare themselves sometimes. So the things that will be their highlight can at the beginning be the thing that they find almost quite difficult to deal with mentally. Um, but I think she's she's luckily she's a horse that doesn't really have any weaknesses. She's got a great walk. She's reliable in that sense. She seems pretty. Um, relaxed as far as the atmosphere and things like that go. Anything she finds difficult, you know, if she gets difficult to ride, it's usually something to do with the work and not really anything to do with around her, which is a bonus. Um, so yeah, I, d I don't think she really has, has a weakness. I think her canter periods are going to be are going to be awesome. Um, the fact that you can drop the reins and she walks is always a bonus. So she's yeah. got. I think she's got lots of strengths. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's very easy to do your job here. It's a um, great facility, everything's close by, everything's really convenient. It's really relaxing for the horses, my horses feel really settled. Um, so yeah, it's sort of no excuses. It gives you the best chance to do a good job. So, Have you been watching some lessons? Or have um, you been doing I don't have much time in between okay. what I'm riding and then teaching Lara and then my little daughter, so I don't, have, I don't have much time to sort of think about anything other than the horses we've got here and, and my daughter. But.